Welcome to Back to the Basics, the series where I show how to do cool stuff related to Minecraft servers and modding. And today I'm going to show you how to install a mod loader, so you can start adding mods to your Minecraft. Now before we can start the installation, you need to choose what type of mod loader you want to install. There are a bunch of different ones out there, and which one you need to install depends on what mod you want to run and which one your friends are maybe already using. If you go to a mod distribution website, like for example ModRymph, and then you navigate to mods, then as soon as you click on a mod, here on the right you will see what platforms it is available for. So make sure to go to the mods you want to install and check what platforms they support. The four most popular Popular mod loaders are Forge, Fabric, Neoforge and Quilt. And in this video I will show you how to manually install every single one of them and at the end of the video I'm going to show you an easy way that can save you a lot of time and hassle. Before we get started, do make sure you have Java installed on your system to make sure you won't encounter any complications. A link to this website can be found in the description down below. Simply navigate here, select your system and then make sure to download the installer. Simply follow the installation steps after and you're good to go. Alright, let's start with Forge. A link to every single mod loader can of course be found in the description down below. Simply navigate to this page, then choose the version of Minecraft you want to install the mod loader for, and after that we're gonna click on installer. Then we need to click on the skip button in the top right, and after that it will start downloading. You simply want to double click the jar file we just downloaded, and it will open up this little installation menu. For the purpose of this video we're simply gonna do a client installation, click on OK, and there we go. The installation will start. Simply wait for about one or two minutes and after that the installation should be successful. Now a complication you could encounter while trying to install Forge is that it tells you that it can't be installed because you've never booted the Minecraft version yet you're trying to install Forge 4. So in my case that would mean that I would have to boot 1.21.5 at least once before I can install Forge. When we now boot to Minecraft Launcher, you can see in the bottom left where we can select our installation, it says Forge. If that is what it says, Forge is successfully installed. Next, let's install Fabric. Of course, the link to this page can be found in the description down below. Over here, you simply want to click on Download. And after that, we're going to click on Download for Windows. Then we're simply going to double click the fabric.exe file we just downloaded. And it will open up this installation menu. Here we can choose the Minecraft version, the loader version, and then also the launcher location. Make sure to have Create Profile selected and then simply click on Install. And bam! It's done! Now once again, a complication you could encounter while installing Fabric is that you've never booted the Minecraft version you're trying to install Fabric for before. So if that's an error that you get, simply make sure to boot that version of Minecraft once and after that try the installation again. When now booting Minecraft in the bottom left, you will see that it says Fabric Loader, meaning it has been successfully installed. We're not fully done yet though, because for 99% of mods to work on Fabric, you will need the Fabric API, which is not included by default. So let me show you how to install it. First, click on the link in the description, then go to download, and over here you want to choose the version of Minecraft you have just installed Fabric for. In my case, 1.21.5. Then we're going to click on download. Then you want to type percent %appdata% percent into your Windows search bar, which will then open up the roaming folder. From there you want to go to .minecraft, and after that, if you've booted Fabric at least once, there should now be a mods folder available. If it's not there yet for you, you can simply create it yourself. And then inside of the mods folder, you want to drag the Fabric API. Now you can start adding more mods and playing modded Minecraft. Next, it is time for Neoforge. Just like with the previous mod loaders, there will be a link in the description of this video that will take you to this page. Then you want to click on latest Neoforge installer over here. This will then initiate the download. After that, you simply want to double click on the neoforge.jar file, which will then open up an installer that looks like this. Simply make sure you have install client selected, and after that click on proceed. It will look very, very similar to the Forge installer, and this is no surprise as Neoforge is a fork of Forge. We're done. Good to go. Again, a problem you could encounter here is that you've never booted the version of Minecraft you're trying to install this mod loader for. So in my case that is 1.21.5, it can be whatever version for you, but make sure you've booted that version at least once. When we now boot Minecraft, you can see in the bottom left, Neoforge is successfully installed. 
The last mod loader, Quilt. How do we install it? It's easy. Once again, a link to this page can be found in the description down below. Then here at the top where it says direct installation, you want to click on client. And after that, you can go for either the universal installer, which will require you to have Java installed on your PC, or you can simply go for the .exe installer, which doesn't require Java. Doesn't matter what you choose here. I'm just going to go for the .exe. After that, we're simply going to double click the .exe file we just downloaded. This will open up a simple Quilt installer menu. We can choose our version of Minecraft, the loader version, make sure to have generate profile selected and then click on install. And there we go. It's done. Then when we open the Minecraft launcher in the bottom left, you can see Quilt is successfully installed. Now, just like with Fabric, Quilt also requires you to install an API for basically anything to work. It is called the Quilted Fabric API and then the Quilt Standard Libraries. Once again, a link to this page can be found in the description down below. Simply click on download, select your version and then click on download again. After that, you want to type in percent app data percent into the search bar of Windows. This will open up the roaming folder with somewhere along the top dot Minecraft. Open up this folder and in there you should find the mods folder. If it is not there for you, you can simply create one yourself. And inside of the mods folder, you want to drag the jar file we just downloaded. Just like that. Now on this PC, I can of course only show you how to open the mods folder in the Windows way. If you are on Linux or Mac though, the same methods will most likely not work. Lucky for you, there's a very easy method to open the mods folder no matter what operating system you're on. What you want to do is simply go to your game menu, after that click on options, then on resource packs, and you actually want to open the resource packs folder. This will then open a folder with all of your resource packs inside, but when from here you go back one folder, you will be in the folder of your Minecraft installation. And there it is, the mods folder. This works on any operating system. And it makes it so you don't have to do the whole percent app data percent folder thingy. So definitely an easy method. Now, if you don't like all of this manual installation, you can also decide to simply not do it. <laughs> and instead download a third party Minecraft client that can install these mod loaders for you. There are a bunch of different options out there, but the one I personally use is the ModRinf app. Make sure to download the one for your operating system. Then simply run the installer, boot the client and log in with your Microsoft account and after that you will find yourself in this menu. Here we can simply click on the plus button on the left which will then allow you to create a new instance. And like you can see we can go for a vanilla version of the game but we can also choose between Fabric, Forge, Neoforge and Quilt. After that choose the game version. Also don't forget to give it a name like subscribe because I would appreciate it if you did. And then we can simply click on create and there we go. It's installing. It is that easy. Now to add mods you can simply click on the installation and then click on install content. This will then open up a page where you can install mods with just a single click. If you want to manually install them though you can simply click on these three dots in the top right and then click on open folder. This will then open up the folder of the installation and then over here in the mods folder that is where you want to put in everything. And that's gonna be it for today. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel, join my Discord. Thank you so much, channel members. And then I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, see you later. Bye bye.